Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to the Paleo channel, the fossil suite in action. And this is my friend, Adrian. Hello, guys. And also Nim is here somewhere there. <laughs> we are at a, uh, well, it's an Elm Kale quarry. Yes. An old one, pretty untouched also. And it's a um, locality that we have permission to, uh, to look around and see if we can find anything cool. So, uh, what have you found here so far? Uh, so far, it's a pretty nice uh, rock with, uh, you see, plenty of uh, crinoids. And uh, so, all these small circles are crinoids. Well, that's a dog. <laughs> and that's a dog. Queen. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> not, uh, I don't think it's from. Uh, I'll, I'll just get rid of this <laughs> yes. dog. Uh, let's, see, let's see if we can zoom in here. So this yeah. is a limestone and the, probably uh, I'd say it's uh, from uh, the boundary between uh, something uh, called Holland limestone and uh, the, uh, let's see, Lanna limestone. So it's uh, lower, Lanna middle or division. Lower division. Yeah, lower. Lower division, yes. So these are crinoids, uh, these are uh, crinoid stem parts. Yes. And uh, what we're looking for in particular is a uh, complete one, of course. But well, that's not it very be, likely. Uh, <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> but it would be kind of cool to find a uh, complete one with the calyx intact. And also uh, an articulated one. But uh, so far it's pretty cool to see these crinoid stem pieces. They are everywhere in this limestone. Well, I think we will uh, root around some here. It's a pretty big location as well. So uh, we'll get back to you when we find something cool. This is an extremely uh, rich site. There is, uh, well, there are several, several meters of grayish limestone and there is also an abundance of oily shale to look for fossils and i've just uh, well i haven't found that much yet but i uh, have be begun to to look around in these these stone piles and uh just turning stones and see what uh, eventually will turn up there's lots and lots of crinoid fragments so far uh, look at this it's just bits and bits and bits of of crinoids. There is crinoid roots, I believe, and there is several uh, crinoids, uh, crinoid stem parts as well. But uh, what I'm hoping to find here is a, uh, of course, complete trilobites. So I'll keep looking in this grayish shale. -y. Oh, look at that! It's kind of a kind of a worm burrow I think some kind of trace fossil well I'll keep looking around in this uh, gray limestone and I hopefully I find something cool and then I'll of course I'll show you if I found something interesting just came across this uh, rather large trilobite pagidium it's a uh, trilobite tail so far uh, I haven't found that much of interest but there is uh, there's plenty of stuff to go through to go through. So, uh, well, I think we have much to do ahead of us anyway. So uh, I'll just keep looking, see if I can find anything else cool. Well, I'm uh, all alone now in this quarry, me and uh, the dog, and uh, I've decided to to move around a bit and this is a massive site so uh, it's full of uh, small watery ponds lots of mosquitoes and flies and stuff and uh, so far I have only found a uh, couple of brachiopods and uh, some crinoid bits and bobs so um, now it's time to split some alum shale and see if anything cool turns up in that part of the quarry so Follow me and we'll get to it. 
and we are heading down a little bit further down and here you can see the, the shale the crystals calcite crystals on this rock is pretty massive and then you have all the the alum shale in layers all around and now it's time to uh, find some stink stone and start hitting some rocks hopefully a nice trilobite will turn up eventually let's take a look thought this was a nice pile to start with this is already already split up so maybe I could just take a rummage in uh, in between the uh, the already split rocks naturally split rocks and maybe I'll wait sorry <laughs> maybe I'll find something cool here so uh, well there are some trilobite fragments I can tell already but uh, so far there is nothing extremely cool or interesting but uh, Sooner or later, I'm sure we're gonna find something. Let's just keep on looking. That's the only only way to find stuff. It's to look for them. Seems like it's not the right kind of layer. Just these uh, rocks here. Sometimes there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing, and then comes everything all at once. You can see some uh, some cephalons, peltura. So we're getting closer. That is a nice sign. Well, I'll uh, keep on looking around here. I'll get back to you soon. So I uh, came across a uh, piece here that's quite interesting in my opinion. You can see uh, there are uh, several Peltura cephalons, like the ones I've showed you before in previous videos as well. And in amongst them there is another trilobite, it's only Cephalon here as well, but it's uh, called uh, Svirotalmus, I believe. And uh, so far, I haven't found a complete one of those, but uh, there is uh, lots and lots and lots of cephalons here, so maybe, maybe, could be, could be. Uh, just wanted to show you this uh, rich abundance of uh, fossils in this type of rock, it's quite cool. So uh, Let's hope there is something complete to show as well. I'll get back as soon as I find something. I didn't find any uh, complete uh, trial bites in the uh, early, division, uh, early division layers of the limestone, but I can show you a piece of cephalopod that I just picked up just to, to show you. These are quite here. This is a fairly large example. Actually, there is, there is two of them this rock it's uh, cool to see nonetheless nothing I will collect but uh, still it's kind of cool to see them and uh, they could grow pretty big these fellas around a couple of meters in length uh, and get yeah it was the top predators of the Udivision seas kind of so uh, well always cool to see well, I found uh, something uh, <laughs> a little bit odd here. This is a, I believe this is a, uh, it's a moose skull. And uh, there's also a piece of jaw over there. This is a big animal, like you can see here. I don't know if you've ever seen a, a moose or elk before, but this is it. Not a fossil. But uh, still a pretty, pretty cool find. Not gonna keep that one, obviously. <laughs> I'll let it be here. So, uh, well, I'll let you go back to your, to your sleep. See you soon. I really think somebody thinks that it's time to go home. And uh, well, 
I can most certainly agree it's been a, a tough afternoon and I've searched through well an abundance of different rocks and uh, haven't found much until the last rock I split I found uh, these beauties look at that it's a whole bunch of Cultura trilobites at least there's one complete trilobite as far as I can see and uh, it's good enough I think it's a really cool piece and I'll definitely gonna keep this one to the collection really cool I am very happy with this one and those are well those are pretty small you can see it <laughs> compared to my finger but uh, anyway they are quite amazing in my opinion so uh, happy days I'll uh, crack on a few few more taps and see if anything else turns up now decided to walk back to the car I have uh, quite a bit to drive before I get home and we are both pretty exhausted <laughs> but it's uh, well it's been a pleasant day Got to see my buddy Adrian as well. He was kind enough to show me this place, and uh, well, didn't find as much as I'd I'd hoped, but I still found a few bits and pieces that I'm pretty satisfied with. So uh, on and on, it's been a quite a good day anyway. But now I'm tired of the of the bugs. The mosquitoes and the flies and the ticks and yeah I'm as tired as usual <laughs> at the end of my videos uh, but uh, well we'll do a, uh, a wrap up when I get home and I'll show you the finds for today when they are prepped and well prepped and done so to speak so uh, well for now Bye bye, see you in the shed. Here we go. So this is the uh, finds that I took back from that quarry. Um, to begin with, I'll show you this piece of crinoid. And uh, it's a piece that is ram packed full of crinoid bits and pieces. Uh, it's uh, mostly individual se segments of the stalk that you can see laying around here. I've done some uh, some sand blasting to this piece just to reveal the crinoids a little bit better. And uh, yeah, take sh show you the back as well. There are a few pieces on the back as well. Pretty cool piece. It's uh, very, very well. It's not very unusual uh, fossil, but uh, it's uh, very early crinoids. So um, that part of the Ordovician uh, crinoid uh, isn't very well documented here in Sweden, so uh, it's it's not it's it's quite rare actually. So uh, uh, it's kind of a cool piece, I think. I'll keep hold to this one. And the next piece is uh, also from that crinoid layer. Uh, it's a uh, small but pretty nice brachiopod. Could just zoom in a bit, please. There you go. It's a uh, yeah, it's a well-preserved example of brachiopod of the early Ordovician, and uh, I've done some uh, cleaning to this as well, just some sandblasting uh, and then some washing. I think it's just a cool little piece just to keep. Then lastly, we have the uh, plate with the uh, Piltura trilobites on it and I uh, well I don't know wh exactly which species this is if it's uh, Piltura minor or if it's uh, Piltura scarabioides or perhaps some other Piltura variety it's pretty tricky to tell them apart especially when they're not so pronounced well um, I put some stabilizer on this piece so uh, it will stop the fossils from 
flaking and also it helps them pop out a little bit more against the, uh, the background matrix. And um, on this plate there is also a few of those uh, pretty tiny uh, trilobite cephalons. It's the Spherotolomus species. And uh, it's kind of nice to have them on the same uh, plate as the, uh, the other trilobites. So I'm really happy with this one and it will be a nice con contribution to the collection. And uh, well... Well, that kind of sums it up, I think. Uh, please consider give me a like if you like the video. And um, yeah, if you liked, you can subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll show you some more content in the future. There is more to come, more fossil hunts to go on. So uh, take care and have a nice summer slash spring evening.